and welcome to our latest video on the release of iOS 18 Beta 4. In this update, Apple introduces a host of exciting new features and improvements that promise to enhance your iPhone experience, specifically more so with the full version which we'll release later on. From a revamped Photos app and customizable icons to the new dedicated Passwords app and Game Mode for gamers, iOS 18 Beta 4 is packed with innovations. So please make sure to join us as we explore these features in detail for iOS 18 Beta 4, and if we have gotten enhancements to Safari, the Notes app, and much more that have already come with previous versions of iOS 18 Beta, we're just going to be focusing on the features that came with Beta 4 only. Whether you're a developer, a tech enthusiast, or simply curious about what's new, this video will give you an in-depth look at all of the latest updates. Welcome back everyone to the Wondershare Dr. Phone channel. My name is Francisco, and today we're going to talk about the latest features included with the iOS 18 Beta 4, which just released. Please make sure to subscribe because there is a lot more content coming soon as well. Now let's go ahead and dive right in. Part 1, all of the features in iOS 18 Beta 4. And we're going to be starting off with CarPlay updates. This one is actually probably my favorite feature so far because we get to customize our CarPlay interface with some nice light mode or dark mode wallpapers, which happen to be brought over from the same designs that we have seen from our typical iOS 18 usage. I tried these out on my car and they do look pretty, especially since now I can have a more customized and personalized CarPlay experience. Next up, we've got camera settings improvements. So now in the settings app for the camera app specifically, there is a minor change where now you can choose to either hide or show the camera tools when you expand the controls menu on the camera app. This is completely optional, but it is there if you were curious about it or if you wanted to hide the tools when expanding the controls menu. Next, we've got the flashlight UI. Flashlight UI will also now show up on the iPhone 15 and 15 Plus, but I only have an iPhone 15 Pro Max, so I can't really show what it looks like on those other devices, but essentially it is the same UI that we've seen in previous beta versions, but with more affordable iPhone 15 models. It will look nearly identical as what you will see here. Next, we've got RCS messaging changes. Now, RCS has finally expanded to more carriers internationally, where carriers such as Fido in Canada, Orange in Spain, Orange in the UK, and many more have received this update. So you can now use RCS messaging with these carriers, but there's still more that have access to RCS messaging, which is exciting if you live in any of these countries and use any of these carriers. And as for other minor inclusions, there were also quite a few minor changes that are a little harder to notice, but here's essentially everything else that we got. We got some minor icon changes in some places and apps. The hidden apps folder is also more expansive, but in terms of the look of the folder itself, which is actually nice too. There's also a new subscriber badge with an animation added in the iCloud menu settings. Lastly, you can do window resizing with iPhone mirroring, which also goes along with the improvements added with macOS Sequoia Beta 4. Part 2. Here's how to download the beta on your device. So like always, we're going to recommend that you back up your data before installing any beta of any kind because this technically isn't stable software yet. So you want to mitigate any issues that come along the way. Because of that, I will show you how to back up your data first and then I will walk you through how to install the beta as well. To back up your device, just unlock your iPhone. Now enter the settings menu and click on your profile icon on top. Tap on iCloud, then scroll down to iCloud backup. From there, just click on the backup now option. Wait for it to finish. And once it is done, you will be able to continue with the update. Now to install iOS 18 beta 4, you have to enroll in the Apple beta software program, which is completely free if you just want to test out the software. So visit the official site and sign in with your Apple ID. Agree to the terms that you will be presented with, then continue. On this site, just go ahead and navigate to the iOS tab, tap download profile, then allow the installation to actually take place from here. Afterwards, return to your settings, tap profile, file downloaded, tap install. From here, the beta will be installed. Once it is finished, you can just go ahead and verify that you have installed the beta by going to your settings, general software update. And then here you should see that you have iOS 18 beta now installed. Then you should be good to go from here. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way up to the very end. If you liked this video, then please make sure to leave us a like and comment any of your questions and thoughts down in the comment section. Please make sure to subscribe to our channel. And for more content just like this, of course, make sure to hit the notification bell to stay updated every time a new video comes out. Until next time, have a great rest of the day.